that the, that the spirit of life entered into us, okay? And we, and we, we, we started to f figure out who we, who we were on a larger scale. It was always a, a line of some sort that we knew who we were, which were, which are the 12 tribes of Israel. That's this who we are, all right? Judah all the way down to uh, Yashashka, all right? But after the 350 years, after the Lord took us out of hardcore slavery, that's when we started to wake up to who we were, who we actually were. We're not Africans. You got your Bible dictionary? Yeah. We're not Africans, okay? We're the, we're, we're the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? I'm from the tribe of Judah, all right? The brother holding the camera is from the tribe of Ephraim, okay? This brother right here is from the tribe of Ephraim. All right. Yeah, because your seed is determined by your father. It don't matter what you look like. Exactly. See you there smiling. You know what I mean, your brother, your brother is from the tribe of Egypt. Huh. Okay? Yeah. It just, and it's the Lord said it's, 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 a, um, it's a, a speckled bird. That also represents our heritage too, but it also represents on a carnal level. You know what I mean? We look like all nations now. You know, we're scattered among all people. It comes according to the seed. Okay. Yeah. That's why. We, that's why it's by, it's by the spirit. Okay. Because a, a heathen, a heathen is not going to say. Give me, the, give me the slavery sign too. Hold that too. Give me the, the slavery sign. The heathen's not gonna come out in the freezing cold, right? The same as if, if he does look like a so-called white man, right? The heathen's not gonna come out in the freezing cold and condemn this, okay? Only a, a man or the most high is gonna come out in the freezing cold and condemn these acts, all right? Cunt, spare the life. It's a Revelations 11 verse 8. Yep. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Yeah, the great city is America. The great city is Babylon. All right? America is great because of, because of its slaves, its, its sorcery, and the, and the blood of its foundation. Okay, those are three things. Go ahead. Which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt. Yeah, so, so America is spiritually called Sodom spiritually called Sodom in Egypt. All right? But where also our Lord was crucified. And how did they crucify Yahweh Shai? You devils going into slavery, right? yeah, going into slavery okay? You're going to hardcore slavery. If there's any Israelites among you, you're going to be put to death. All right? So the Lord was crucified by... One, one way the Lord was crucified in Babylon by putting this damn image up. All right? That's that's what that's what one of the main ways the Lord was crucified. Second way was the, the, the false breakdowns of the scriptures. Okay? Saying that you gotta love everybody. That's not in the scriptures. Alright? That's not in the scriptures. The, the brother that's read as as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Never trust thy enemy. So if we ain't supposed to trust our enemy, that means we ain't supposed to love everybody. We ain't we only supposed to love the brothers that are doing the work. Alright? And we'll extend our hand to any brothers that want to do the work. What? And they of the people and kindred, kindreds and tongues and nations shall so see their dead bodies yep. three days in the half. Yep. And so not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell upon the earth shall so rejoice over them and make merry. And so send gifts one to another. Yeah, like a lot of uh, photographs that we actually have of uh, so-called Negroes being hung. Those are those are actual uh, cards, no greeting cards or whatever that Esau, the so-called white man, was sent back and forth to their family members and friends. All right, and then have a, a, a damn picnic, have a picnic while or after or during they had, they, they hung us. What? And make merry and so send gifts. Yeah, so it was it wasn't nothing. The so-called white man, they enjoyed putting hell on Israel, all right? They enjoyed that. They enjoyed putting hell on our people. The so-called white people, you enjoyed it, all right? You enjoyed putting hell on us. Okay, so we're gonna enjoy putting hell on you for a thousand years and then we're gonna completely destroy you. Go ahead. Because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the most high into, in, into them. Yeah, the, the, the three days and a half represent 350 years. Okay, and the spirit of life meaning this truth, the word, our identity, our heritage, okay? 
our heritage, we started to remember. The Lord was uh, was working with certain certain elders to reveal to them who we were. What? And they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them with saw them. Yeah, we stood upon our feet, okay? Standing upon our feet, me and that, we're, we're doing the work of the Lord, okay? We're, we're keeping the commandments. We, we know who we are, all right? That's the, that's the work that we're doing, all right? The other nations, they're not doing that. The other nations are being heathen. The other nations are justifying eating abominable foods, okay? This damn hair might at work. Gonna give me a, a watchtower. I wish I had bought it. Got it. But the watchtower said, "What can we learn from Moses?" And he's sitting there eating uh, breakfast, eating uh, pork bacon and eggs. So these are whole wickedness, they, niggas. They out of their damn mind. They out of their damn mind. You can't eat abominable, abominable foods. Okay? You can't eat abominable foods when you come into this truth. All right? We just did a studio show earlier, a couple hours ago, about you know walking in the spirit. Okay, the spirit is perfect. Okay, like we explained in the video, if we walking into something that's perfect, how are we committing these uh, simple uh, tr these transgressions that are easy to avoid? Okay, adulteries that's easy to avoid, right? Eating pork that's easy to avoid. Yet you niggas still do it. You people in the church, you've been given license by the heathen to be wicked. Okay. Let the scriptures say that in the book of Maccabees, okay? The same thing that the Greeks gave to Israel in the past, the so called white man's doing today, giving our people license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. Okay? If we walk, we, we gotta be walking in the light. We gotta be walking in the spirit, constantly. The spirit is perfect. So we gotta be perfect. Second Ezra, just a quick one. Chapter 3, verse 36. Thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. Like the brother was saying, the heathen at his job trying to offer, I mean, show him a brochure with a man on the cover eating pork. I mean, the Lord ain't revealed to the heathen in the light of the, of the scriptures. And they're not, they're not programmed and wired to, to follow these statutes and commandments and laws. Yeah, they're, they're programmed and they're, and they're wired to operate on the left hand side. They're, they're, they're crooked. The scriptures say that can that which is crooked be made straight? You can't. You can't. You can't make something crooked straight. I mean, you can't correct, it. make Esau righteous. All right. If the Lord deems you to be a wicked dude, whether you be Israelite or Israelite, if He deems you to be a wicked person in this in these last days, that's what you're gonna be. You can't resist the powers. All right. If the powers tell you to be to to, uh, to live your life as a, as a godly man, okay, to do to do the work. You're gonna, you're gonna do it, okay, no matter what. You're gonna fulfill your office. So if you're wicked, you're gonna fulfill that office. Sirach 15 verse 20. Yep. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly, neither have he given any man license to sin. Gun. So it's not all right when you go off, okay? It's not okay. You're not cleansed by the blood of Jesus, okay? You're not, this guy's blood, you're not cleansed by that guy's blood, okay? That's just an abortion, that's, that's not the Lord. Uh, the, the, the Lord didn't speak Latin, all right? He spoke Hebrew. He didn't speak Spanish, all right? He spoke Hebrew. And for the most part, the Bible was written in, uh, in Hebrew, okay? He had some let, uh, letters that were written in Greek because that's the language that the people spoke. Right, precept. This is uh, Jeremiah 13 and 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. Exactly, exactly. Read that again, you can't, you, you can't, do, you can't do good, Esau. There's no salvation for you. John 3 and 16 does not apply to you, okay? Notice John, uh, about Nic Nicodemus being born again. He, he, these people that probably don't even know that, about being born again. All the verses above it is, is referring to being born again. They just go straight to 16 to close the book. Again. Jeremiah 13 and 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin? No, he can't. Or what? the leopard his spots? No, he can't. Then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. Okay. So the so-called white man, which is biblical nationality, is Esau, okay? He can't do good. There's nothing he can do, all right? 
He was born to be the wicked. He's going to die wicked. All right? Only thing that, only thing that we're going to do, we're going to destroy him. Okay? The, well, the missiles are going to destroy him here in Babylon. And in certain places around the world, like Israel, Israel is going to be the land of Israel now. They're going to be completely burned. All right? It's going to be cleansed. All right? The, the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, they're going to rejuvenate the earth. And the other nations are going to build Israel's kingdom. Okay? The 12 tribes of Israel. All right? So-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. The other nations are going to build our kingdom. Okay? With their sweat and their blood, they're going to build our kingdom. Okay? So they're in slavery. They're not, the Lord is not coming back to deliver them. The Lord is coming back to destroy them. Isaiah 63. Uh, 4 and 7, Jeremiah. Uh, what, um, Revelation 2 and 26. We, we can go back to uh, Jeremiah 49 and 7 also. There's a little lot in there too. What's up, Joe? 4 verse 7. Yep. Is that uh, Satan's stirring up trouble. Is it a. Uh, Joe, it's a Joe. I was looking for it. Joe 14 and 4. Yeah, cons, cons. Yeah, yeah, it's Because 14 and 5 is about his balance. Yeah, okay, okay. Joe, 14 and 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Yeah, so Esau, he can't he can't be cleansed, okay? Yeah. He can't be cleansed. I mean, just because the Lord died, that didn't change that, okay? The Lord's, what the scripture said, that Lord is saying today, yesterday, and forever, in Hebrews, the Lord didn't, the Lord didn't change because he shed his blood, okay? It was always prophesied when we were at Deuteronomy 18 and 15 that the, 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 most, the most High is going to raise up a prophet like unto Moses, and we're supposed to listen to him. Yeah, I, I, want, I just want to say something. The Lord also said in the book of Hebrews, okay, that the only way something could be cleansed is by the shedding of blood. Now, when you go back to Numbers, which is in our law, the only way to 